Good day, everyone. It is currently the 23rd of September, 2012, and out here in the Western Pacific today, we are continuing to watch Jellawatt or Lawwin, depending on where you're coming from. Across the Philippines, it is being called Lawwin, though. Jellawatt's the international name. Currently, just intensified to a typhoon here in the past 24 hours. You actually can see that very clear eye here on the satellite imagery indi indicating that this has intensified up above that 64 knot threshold. Actually, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency, uh, winds right now are 80 gusting up to 115 knots, so not a system to be really reckoned with here. Actually, many of the uh, areas here across Visayas, Signal Force uh, 1 issued in portions of Samar, but Visayas Yes, the uh, fishermen there have been advised on not going out today. The seas are just way too rough to comprehend trying to take a small fishing vessel out there. So definitely good news that they're telling people to stay indoors basically at this time. Now, good news is that it should remain off the coast here as it starts to strike off there towards the north. Bad news as it does that, it's going to be continuing to bring some heavy rain showers on shore. And that's going to be bringing the risk of flooding not only across the southern Philippines, but as the storm system slowly works its way towards the north. Manila, you're going to be starting to see these heavy Heavy rains going into the early part of this coming week as well. Now, good news is what's causing this lift towards the north is see this troughing all the way across Japan. Actually, here in Tokyo, we're getting some heavy rain showers here today. Well, this troughing is going to lift that storm system towards the north. It should follow in behind it and then basically kick off there towards the northeast in the extreme long range. But for the time being, it is going to continue to linger and then slowly track north. And that's just going to be enhancing that monsoonal flow coming out from the west there. And that's what's going to bring your heavy rains across the Philippines. But one thing to remember, there still is this cold air stretching across portions of Luzon at this time. So as in my last update, I said you still need to watch the storm system. And I really do think you still need to very closely watch it if it does drift a little bit farther towards the west. And also because just because of that enhanced flow coming in from the west out of the South China Sea. So rain's going to be very heavy here. And then, of course, across Taiwan. And now we're going to have to put the southern Japanese islands back into the mix. I know in my last update, I said maybe you could be ruled out of this storm system. Well, due to the strength of that trough off there towards the north, if it wasn't as strong before now and intensified whether it's just dynamical and fluid as far as forecasting well since that's stronger this very likely could pick this up much more and lift it that much farther north and here's the latest from the joint typhoon warning center they're also expecting this move on a northerly progression before turning towards the west eventually impacting around taiwan although they have stated in their long-range forecast that they are not very confident with it that and the intensity uh, and the track anything beyond about the next three to four days and this goes out five days so really just remember that anywhere in these cones of area you need to be watching this that still includes northern luzon and even out there towards the east and including Okinawa as well you are in that cone so definitely the storm system due to its slow movement and lack of steering flow at this time it very well could be continuing to change and could be very uh, hard to predict here in the next coming day but one thing that we can be con fairly confident on is that if it does take this continues to take this northerly track there's going to be these heavy rains across the Philippines you can see this banding coming in across portions of Asias and then if we go into the long range this is out to Thursday and Friday continues to track off there towards the north, then Luzon, you start to feel the effects of it, despite the fact that you're not feeling the direct impact of the wind. So heavy rain is definitely very possible here. And then as we continue to go out, it starts to turn off there towards the northeast. But another feature on this map I want to point out real quick is that behind uh, Jellawat here, there's a monsoonal trough that's been kicking around and really kind of causing a stir near Guam. In the long range, take a look at that over Iwo 2 and then it starts to spin just south of Tokyo and decides it wants to take off there towards the northeast. We're going to continue to watch that area as well. It is the tropics and it is late in September so still very active out here in the western Pacific unlike the Atlantic by this time of year. Most people just kind of stop watching the tropics well here. Not so much the case. We are still in the prime and also this is the peak part of the year that Japan typically gets affected by tropical systems. And that's due to a number of reasons, but the main one is the weakness of the West Pack High there and much more uh, westerly storms coming through that grab these systems and pull it off towards Japan, which very well could happen here with our Jellawatt. So we're going to continue to watch this storm system through the coming days. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment box below. Also, uh, you can continue to check in Weathercaster Pants updates and also at westernpacificweather.com. We're going to continue to post updates there on our Facebook and Twitter page as well. And you can Follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Robert Spetta. Please stay safe out there. My next update will probably be around midnight this evening, so uh, definitely watch out for that. Have a great day.